Courtney is here from the Broadway Theater League with some guests. Jay, you want to introduce them? Sure. Well, I'll let Courtney do it. Here, all right. I've moved all the way over here. So all right, go ahead. Courtney, Courtney. Do it. You can do it. Courtney, how are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Who do we have in today? I know I got their names, but you do it officially. We have Shawnee and Rachel. Mm-hmm. We play the Wicked Witch of the- Shawnee plays the Wicked Witch of the West. And Rachel plays Glinda the Good Witch All right. from The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, we were joking because uh, Shawnee has dark hair and uh, Rachel has blonde hair. And I said, which is which? And they kept saying, come on, come on, <laughs> look at us. And so when you walked into the audition, you're obviously you're in your natural state. And does that help land a job like that, I guess, the way you look? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, sometimes that's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. And Rachel, you're from Texas. That's right. What part? North of Dallas. Okay. What's the, what's the suburb? Sherman, Texas. Sherman, Texas. Mm-hmm. So you got to be a Cowboys fan, I That's would imagine. Right, All right. Absolutely. Happy with Tony Romo returning to action. Do you actually watch? Do you care about the you NFL? Know, I do. Mm-hmm. I do. But only usually if my dad and my brothers are around. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very good. And uh, Shawnee, you're from Ohio. Yes. Probably a Browns fan if you're a football fan or not. Or are you from a different part of the state of Ohio? Well, I'm from Columbus. Mm-hmm. So no matter what, like OSU football gotcha. is. Gotcha. Like, <laughs> by default, I have to give yeah. a shout out. Did you go to Ohio, did you go to Ohio State or not? I did not. No. Mm-hmm. And what, what about your college backgrounds? Did you study uh, theater in college? Shawnee, you yes. first? I went to uh, the Hart School in Connecticut and mm-hmm. studied music theater there. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, Rachel? I went to Rice University mm-hmm. in Houston, and then I did my master's at NYU. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very good. Now, did you, did you study uh, at Rice something else before you fell in love with theater as well? Or? I did classical voice at Rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, I had a liberal arts degree also. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, neither one of you are in Kansas anymore. Okay, that's, that's, right. for, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. How did you get involved with this, uh, Shawnee? Either with theater or Wizard of Oz. Uh, uh, let's go with theater. Well, I was a very crazy child, <laughs> and my parents needed me to expend some energy. Is that, has that calmed down a bit, or no? <laughs> yes. Okay. But with the look. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just started as a young child trying to get rid of my energy that was all over the place, mm-hmm. and found my love for theater and been doing it ever since is that a good pointer for parents maybe for kids that have a lot of energy yeah dance class theater class because yeah. he has a he yeah. has a young kid mm-hmm. who's oh, yeah. very energetic yeah, yeah. It, it uses the brain as well as the mm-hmm. physical so it's like really great to get them sleepy <laughs> <laughs> uh, now did you develop uh, your musical interest before or after that before yeah. my my dad's a musician my grandfather oh, yeah. was a musician yeah doing so what what kind of what kind of stuff they do my grandfather played piano and sang and mm. my dad plays pretty much anything but he specializes in the accordion wow yeah. mm. okay <laughs> and uh for you rachel uh, in terms of the music versus the drama did they coincide together in, in, in terms of your interest in the two or not well i started first dancing mm-hmm. i was on stage with dance at the age of three wow um and i did that until i started singing and then singing kind of took over and then i didn't really get into theater as much until college mm-hmm yeah. And so how long have you been doing this the two of you professionally? How long how well, like how many shows have you been doing so far? Well, like this will be are there too many to count? Probably. Really? <laughs> so you you're luckily, veterans. Luckily, like, You yeah. guys are veterans then. You've been doing this a long time. I mean, I only graduated from grad school 1 year ago. Okay. So, but in the summers you can work professionally, so I did that and then now this has been my first full year out of school. Okay. Have you done films as well or would you like to do films, Shawnee? Yeah, films mm-hmm. are definitely something that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just hard. When, uh, theater is kind of my focus, so mm-hmm. um, film doesn't have as much time, but maybe that will shift in mm-hmm. the future. Sure. You talk about time. What's it like traveling, going from city to city? Shawnee's looking at me like it's crazy. Well, we were having a little fun off the air because you guys were working last night, I'm assuming, mm-hmm. yes. and I'm going to put you on the spot because you have a little bit of green on you <laughs> still, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, so... Um, Touring is crazy, but for me specifically, yeah, I'm green every night. So then <laughs> have to, I did not get that all off. <laughs> How long does it take to put on and take off? To put on, it has to take under 20 minutes because mm-hmm. it's a quick change because wow. I play Miss Gulch in Kansas. All right, of um, course, yeah. And then to take off, I've gotten it down to like 25 right now, but we just started using it. so You might have I'll to get, tweak yeah, yeah. that a little bit because you still got some green on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Now, do they, do they have a stationary bike for you to ride as Miss Gulch on stage? How do they do that? Oh, it's a real bike. Really? Yeah. Seriously? In heels and a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and a corset. So do you actually ride around the stage on the bicycle as well? During Across the, the stage. Oh, ah, okay, cool. Well, but you got to come see it. What's that practice session like? Do you fall? <laughs> Not Rachel yet. Ma- <laughs> 
Rachel's waiting for you to fall. Go ahead. Tell no, us a little no, bit. No, no, no. Absolutely not. But we do have a lot of other cool moving parts. We have people flying, mm-hmm. which is really cool. And we've got fire, which oh, is cool. Flying. We have a lot of cool technical aspects for people to enjoy. So what's it like, the good witch and the bad witch? It's a lot of fun. It's so much yeah. fun. Do you guys play that in real life sometimes together? No, mm. I don't think so. We get along really well in real life, and I think that's what makes it so much mm-hmm. fun. Like, we just look at each other and connect on stage, <laughs> and it, it just our energy just builds. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. Because if you had that in real life, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Now, are you guys ready to sing? Because, Jay, I know you wanted to negotiate a song out of him. Now, you were saying right before we went on that you're allowed to perform on radio shows certain material and not other material. Is that What's the deal with that? Well, none of my stuff is contractually allowed. So really? I'm gonna have, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's so B.I. You're going to have no, to see true. the show. You're you just don't want to have to see the show this weekend. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse to me. I don't know. <laughs> and Sh- Shawnee's just looking like she wants to sing. You can no, sing. I would love to, mm-hmm. but I'm not warmed up. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> Still has the green makeup on the neck there. No, we That's really a- want everybody to come. Mm-hmm. We want to leave them wanting to hear the old songs that they know, plus the... Uh, couple new songs oh there's new songs in the there show there are mm-hmm. a couple new ones written by andrew Lloyd weber and tim wow. rice mm. just to help round out the show and how when did that occur when did that change occur do you know well this production opened in 2011 mm-hmm. in london mm-hmm. and that's when they were added so everyone can expect the same show but a little surprise here and there cool yeah, i like that and this means a lot of work for me you guys are here for this week you mm-hmm. miss thanksgiving I'm assuming with we families. do, but we do have you know our cast family and our crew family, mm-hmm. and we're having Thanksgiving dinner all together. So we're excited for that. Do you do it in character? Because that would be fun. No, <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could. Yeah, just an idea. <laughs> so what can we expect, and when do the shows run? What can we expect, and when do the shows run? <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's going to take <laughs> over here. I'm going to take that over. Um, they're Thursday and, or excuse me. Not Thursday. That would be Thanksgiving. Friday and Saturday at the Stanley. The show's at 7.30, and we still have tickets available, broadwayutica.com, or you can call us at 724-7196. All right, and then uh, is it tough to have a social life as well, um, outside of what you do? Currently, because we're um, in heavy rehearsals right now, getting all the technical aspects added, Mm -hmm. but once the show starts running, no, we really get to explore the cities we're in. Mm -hmm. Um, Hopefully, you know, a lot of cities we have family, friends in that we can visit. It's just kind of the opposite work schedule than most people Mm because we work evenings and weekends. Mm -hmm. That's the one tough thing. But other than that, it's a pretty wonderful life. Sure. (laughs) And the people in your cast become your social life, become your friends and Mm -hmm. your family. So that's great. Have you guys explored a bit here in Utica? Not as much as we'd like to. Yeah. When would you get here? We got here Wednesday evening, and we've been in rehearsals pretty much all day, (laughs) every day. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Just a little bit of food, maybe, is a, yeah. experience some of the food. Yeah, but we're still looking to explore more of you guys. Have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Suggestion. We'll give you the full list, and it's going to be great weather this week, too. Great. So a little bit of snow tomorrow, but then getting warmer throughout the week. So cool. you're, in, you're in, in here at a good time of the year, I guess. Great. So thanks for coming in. Good luck with the show. Thank, Thank you. Really appreciate it.